Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bellingham High School as it is a matchup between the Bakers as coach Dennis Baker Jr. and the Hopkinton Hillers take on coach Dennis Baker Sr. and the Bellingham Blackhawks in this TBL softball matchup, a great matchup on hand for you today. The Hillers 10 and one on the season going against the Bellingham Blackhawks who also only have one loss on this season. The Hillers currently the leading team in the TVL after getting a couple big victories this week as they took down Norton on Monday, six to nothing. And then they ended up getting the victory in Holliston Wednesday, seven to one. Bellingham overall on the season is 10 and one as well. And they are on a bit of a winning streak themselves as they look to take over first place with perhaps a win here today. But they are going to have their work cut out for them as Juliet Hume, the pitcher for the Hillers, just on fire so far this season in the five games she has pitched she has giving up she has given up one run but that run was unearned so still a zero era for juliet hume let's take a look at the bellingham field zoe haley is going to be the pitcher her battery mate will be casey baker behind the plate elena chambers over at first base megan cook the second baseman chloe woodward at shortstop Caitlin Prophet at third base. From left to right, Kelly Corbett, Julianne Kilduff, and Chelsea Farrell. As the Hillers set to come up to the plate, Hannah Engstrom will lead things off. She's followed up by designated player Lindsey Whittles, batting third, Lizzie Kelly. Kayla Sullivan playing left field is the cleanup. Kate Wellzell batting fifth, playing short. Jenna Bogan batting sixth, playing first base. Juliet Hume, the pitcher, batting seventh. Nikki Como, the third baseman, batting eighth. Renee Cooprider, the right fielder, rounding out the order. The first pitch is just outside, a 1-0 count. Molly Bennett also playing in today's game. She is the second baseman, the odd man out of the batting order. As Zoe Hilly is set to deliver. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. It's Hopkinton, Hiller's softball on the road as that pitch fouled away. A 1-1 one one count. It's about 80 degrees outside, feels like 67 down here at the field, quite a breeze. And it is blowing outward, so we could see some help with some fly balls here today. The windup and the pitch down low, two and one. Anna Ingstrom having a good season at the plate so far. Get you those stats in just a minute. Is Haley to the set on the ground, third base side. Throw to first is in time. A five to three to start things off and Lindsey Whittles will come to the plate. As Lindsey Whittles will step in. Whittles a 361 heading into this game. That pitch inside, one and oh. To the set as the sophomore awaits the pitch. On the ground, up the middle, easy throw to first, two away. This could very well be a great pitcher's duel here today between Zoe Haley and Juliet Hume as Lizzie Kelly is set to come up to the plate for Hopkinton. Wide up and the pitch. That is in there for a strike. Oh and one. To the set. Just inside, one and one. Very windy day here at the fields. Is that pitch just up high? Yeah, 
Bailey to the set. Upstairs. Great atmosphere at Bellingham here today. Pretty good turnout to watch. It's always been a great matchup as this is a little bloop shot. Gloved by the shortstop, Chloe Woodward. And the Hillers go down one, two, three. On the top of the first, we head to the bottom of the first. The Bellingham Blackhawks coming up. Bottom of the first inning, let's take a look at the Bellingham batting order. Megan Cook, the second baseman, leading things off. Julianne Kilduff, the center fielder, batting second. Chloe Woodward, the shortstop, batting third. Hitting cleanup and playing center field is Kelly Corbett. Julia Cadell is the designated player, batting fifth. Casey Baker, the catcher, batting sixth. Chelsea Farrell, the right fielder, batting seventh. Caitlin Prophet, the third baseman, batting eighth. Zoe Haley, batting ninth and pitching. The first baseman, Elena Chambers, the odd man out of the batting order as Juliet Hume is set to deliver. The lineup and the pitch is just inside. One and oh to Megan Cook. Cook was a part of the state champion squad last year. The Bellingham Blackhawks coming off a state championship season. Is that pitch just high? Two and oh. And that is not only for the softball team, but also the Bellingham baseball team state champions last year. Hume to the set. And that is just outside. The last time we saw Hume was in a 6 nothing victory against Norton. She had 18 strikeouts. 16 of those strikeouts were for outs. And she walks the first batter. An unusual start for the senior. That'll bring up Julianne Kilduff, the center fielder. Hume coming into this game has only walked three batters. As the bunt laid down, pulled back, there's a strike. She struck out 62 so far this season. That's in five games. That is averaging just over 12 strikeouts a game. Bunt laid down up the middle, the throw to first in time. Runner advances the second. So Julianne does do what she intended to do, moves Megan Cook up to second, one away. Chloe Woodward, the shortstop now coming to the plate. Hume is set to deliver. Swinging strike. Oh and one. Hume to the set. And there strike two, oh and two. Grabs the inner corner. Wide up and the pitch, a swinging strike, and there's K number one. So two outs, and that'll bring up Kelly Corbett, the center fielder. Runner on second for Bellingham. Hume delivers, swinging strike. Hume awaits the sign and deals. That is fouled away, 0-2. Hume set to deal, swinging strike, and that is K number two, out number three. We head to the top of the second. It's a scoreless game between Hopkinton and Bellingham. <clears throat> Ready? Top half of the second inning due up for the Hillers is the fourth, fifth, and sixth hitters, Kayla Sullivan, Kate Wellzell, and Jenna Bogan to face Zoe Haley. 
Wide up and the pitch, winging strike, 0 and 1. Bellingham started off there, bottom of the first with a walk, but then a ground out and two strikeouts by Hume for the three outs, as there's a strike. Haley to the set, delivers, there's ball two. Two and one. Kayla Sullivan, four home runs on the year. Having a terrific season at the plate so far. Takes that one low. A 515 batting average heading into this game. third in the TVL. And this is hit in the air in the right field. That drops down for a base hit. Throw to first, not in time. A single to start things off for Kayla Sullivan. That'll bring up Kate Wellzell, the shortstop. Zell awaits the pitch, and it's a bunt foul. Haley to the set. On the ground, up the middle, gloved at short. She'll step on second for one, throw to first, not in time. So Wellzell reaches on the fielder's choice. And there is one away for Jenna Bogan, who is having a great season at the plate. A 538 average, one home run on the season. That was hitting the Holliston game on Wednesday. Coach Baker Jr. was telling me before the game she absolutely crushed the ball. Down the first base line, and it's in and out of the glove of the first baseman, and no play is made. Elena Chambers tried to gather it up, but just floated away from her, and Bogan reaches on the error. Wellzell advances to second. That'll bring up Juliet Hume, trying to help her own cause. Hume having a pretty good season at the plate. is 5-4-8. And 11 appearances at the plate, a 625 average. Haley set the deal. Air strike one. 0 oh and 1. Pitch. And hit foul. Haley to the set. Line up and the pitch. Swinging strike. And there is the first K of the day for Zoe Haley. Nikki Como will come up. Two outs in the inning. Two on for the Hillers. To the set. This is hit in the air. That'll drop into center field for a hit. And the runner will be held up at third. A good throw to home. So a nice job by Coach Soderberg holding up. Kate Wellzell at third. Bases are loaded. And that'll bring up Renee Cooprider, the right fielder. That would have been a close play at home, so. A little conservative there, but probably the right call to make. And now just uh, some discussion with the umpire about when Coach Soderberg kind of stepped in front of Wells to stop her. As Haley is set to deliver. 
There's a strike, 0-1. To the set, down low, one and one. And Haley has done a nice job picking up for Bellingham after the departure of Megan Cook last year. Is that pitch outside? Cook, the one of the most elite pitchers in this state helped lead the Blackhawks to a state championship last season. Is Haley set to deal? That is just high, three and zero. Oh. Bases full of Hillers, two outs. Line up and the pitch, and there's a strike. Haley to deliver. And this is hit on the ground up the middle, and it is gloved by the second baseman, played on its side, one run scores, and a second run is not going to be in time. But a run did come around and it is one to nothing Hillers going to the bottom of the second. Bottom of the second inning, it's a one nothing Hillers lead. Julia Cadell, Casey Baker and Chelsea Farrell do up the fifth, sixth, and seventh hitter in the Bellingham lineup. There's a swinging strike. We'll recap the top of the second inning for you in just a moment as Hume set to deliver. There's strike two. Now in the second inning for the Hillers, Kayla Sullivan started off with a single. Katewell Zell then reached on a fielder's choice. Jenna Bogan reached on an error, there's a strike. And that is out number one. Third strikeout for Hume, and now Baker to the plate. Hume then struck out, Nikki Como with a single, and then Renee Cooprider with an RBI single. Wind up and the pitch is up high. And the way the inning ended is Jenna Bogan attempted to score, but was thrown out at the plate. And that is how the second inning ended for the Hillers. Wide up and the pitch in the dirt, 2-0. Hume is set to deal. There's a strike, two and one. And Hume lost the ball on that pitch. And I don't, I guess that would be a ball. Just lost her grip on the ball. Hume set to deal. There's a strike. Full count. Hume deals, there's strike three. Nasty, two away. And that'll bring up Chelsea Farrell. It's 
Four strikeouts in the game for Hume. There's strike one. Oh and one. Oh and two. Hume strikes out the side. One, two, three. Go the Bellingham Blackhawks. And we will head to the top half of the third. It's a one to nothing Hopkinton Hillers lead. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Weston Nurseries located at 93 East Main Street. Visit their garden centers in Hopkinton or Chelmsford and discover limitless possibilities to create your own backyard paradise. Find them online at westonnurseries.com. As we are set for the top half of the third inning. The Hillers, they started to get some offensive momentum in the second off of pitcher Zoe Haley. And in this inning, they'll go back to the top of their lineup. It will be Hannah Ingstrom. Lindsay Whittles and Lizzie Kelly do up at the plate. The Hillers look to try to tack on to their one nothing lead. Nice job by Zoe Haley and the Blackhawks defense getting out of a bit of a jam in the second with not too much damage. And we are set for baseball. Haley is set to deal. Wind up and the pitch is just low. The one and oh count. Haley to the set, delivers. Down low, two and oh. Haley awaits the sign. That is hit foul, two and one. You can hear the wind really blowing here and can't get a break from this wind so far this season. Haley gets the sign and deals. And this is third base side and it is gloved over at third base. Nice catch by Caitlin Prophet for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Lindsey Whittles. Whittles grounded out her last time up. First pitch inside. Haley to the set. Delivers, and this is hit in the air. A little bloop shot caught by Profit over at third base. That's two outs. Now Lizzie Kelly will come to the plate. She lined out her last time up. Z. Kelly, uh, one of the better power hitters in the league, is that pitch down low. 4-12 on the season. Has driven in six, scored 11. That pitch just low, two and oh. Haley awaits the sign and delivers. And this is on the ground, third base side, gloved over at third base, misfire into the fence, and Kelly will reach. And she is awarded second base on the overthrow. That's the second Bellingham error of the day. That'll bring up Kayla Sullivan with a runner in scoring position. Two outs in the inning, Kayla Sullivan with an opportunity here. She 
did get a single in the second inning as that pitch outside. One and O. Oh. Haley set to deliver. There's a strike. One and one. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air towards right field, towards the fence, and that is gone. A two run home run. Kayla Sullivan does it again, her fifth of the season. Three nothing Hillers. And now Kate Wellzell will come up to the plate. And the, the fence here about just over 200. Can't be much more than that as that pitch down low. Sullivan just crushed that ball. Went off the top of the fence. Five home runs, quite unbelievable. To the set, as just outside. A two and O count. Well, Zell reached on a fielder's choice her last time up. And this is hit in the air, a little bloop shot caught at short, and that will be the third out, but not before. Kayla Sullivan goes yard. Drives in Lizzie Kelly. It's three to nothing. Hillers heading to the bottom of the third. Bottom of the third inning. Two up for Bellingham as the eighth, ninth, and first hitters. Caitlin Prophet, Zoe Haley, and Megan Cook. It is a three to nothing. Hopkinton Hillers lead. Kayla Sullivan crushing the ball off the right field fence and gone to drive in Lizzie Kelly on the top of the third. And now Juliet Hume. Is back out on the mound. She has five strikeouts so far in two innings. And that is a check swing, and she held. One and O. Oh. And it's the movement on Hume's pitchers that fool a lot of hitters. It's a great movement. There's str a strike there. That was just a straight out fastball. Breaking pitches, they have a great drop on them. And a pretty nice curve as well. Bunt lay down, followed into the backstop, one and two. Hume to the set. There is strike three. One away and the sixth strikeout. And we'll bring up Zoe Haley. So Haley going to try to help her own cause here. Pitcher for Bellingham. A good pitcher as well for Bellingham. Let's not forget the Blackhawks only with one loss this year, this year so far as well as that pitch down low. Both teams 10 and 1. Hume is set to deal. There is a strike. Fell right out of the glove of Lizzie Kelly. A lot of velocity on some of Hume's pitches. Hume delivers. Hit in the air, a little bloop shot, battling the sun, falling back and making the catch. Nice job by Wellzell, sticking with it. Got tripped up a little bit, but was still able to pull it down for the second out. And now Megan Cook will come to the plate. Oh 
Hume to the set. That is low. Set to deliver. Swinging strike, one and one. Cook walked her last time up. Swinging strike, one and two. And let's not forget this is a different Megan Cook than the Megan Cook that helped lead the Bellingham Blackhawks to a state championship last season. That pitch just high. Still a very good athlete as well. She was also part of the Bellingham girls basketball team that went all the way to a championship game this season as that pitch down low. They went all the way to the Central Championship, or excuse me, the South Championship. Bellingham in Division Three in basketball. That pitch just high. Megan Cook draws another walk. So runner on for Bellingham, and now Julianne Kilduff will come up to the plate. And Bellingham, they have really just become a force across the TVL, especially in the major sports. In basketball, baseball, softball. The football team has taken a few steps up, there's a strike. Hume awaits the side. Delivers, swinging strike, 0-2. For those of you just joining us, we're at Bellingham High School, Hopkinton Hillers softball. They're up three to nothing. That pitch down low. To the set, and this is hit in the air. Fair territory, right field and caught. Renee Cooprider gets under it to make the catch, and that will end the top half, or the bottom half of the third inning. We will head to the top half of the fourth. Hiller's up, 3 0. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Westboro Pest Control. Don't tolerate your pest problem, eliminate your pest problem. Call them at 508-366-1820 or you can find them online at WPCPest.com. Zoe Haley set to deliver, fouled away. One and oh count, Jenna Bogan at the plate. Swinging strike, nasty breaking pitch there. Jenna Bogan, Juliet Hume, Nikki Como do up for the Hillers. So Haley set to deliver, there's a strike. And that'll do it, one away. Juliet Hume coming up to the plate. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Almost got a piece of Hume. Haley set to deliver. On the ground, up the middle, gloved at second base, throw to first in time. Nice job by Megan Cook. Getting Hume on the four to three, and that'll bring up Nikki Como. Como singled her last time up. Wide up and the pitch. Hit in the air, foul. No oh and one.
to the set. There's strike two. Set to deliver is Zoe Haley, and this is hit foul. Cow remains 0 and 2. Wind continuing to whip around here at Bellingham's Fields. This is hit in the air in foul territory. <laughs> and count remains 0 and 2. That ball came flying right over <laughs> near us. Still a nice job on camera by Bob Hamilton. Keeping the field in the shot as best as he could there. That actually uh, hit our uh, table over here. My cell phone doesn't look like it's damaged, so that's a good sign. Haley set to deliver. That is down low. The battle continues with Como. Line up and the pitch. Down low, two and two. An even count now. To the set, on the ground, and past the dive of the third baseman and the shortstop. And Como reaches on the single. Second hit of the game. And that'll bring up Renee Cooprider, who had an RBI single in the second to score the first Hiller's run. It drove in Kate Wellzell. Great battle there by Nikki Como. Light up and the pitch. Como thought about taking off, but back to the bag is that pitch outside, 1-0. Oh. Haley to the set. Upstairs, 2-0. Oh. Haley set to deliver. Hit in the air and foul territory and caught by the right fielder. Nice job by Ch Chelsea Farrell getting under it to make the catch. And that will retire the side. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Hopkinton up 3 0. Bottom half of the fourth inning, a 3 0 Hopkinton lead. Due up for Bellingham, the third, fourth, and fifth hitters. Chloe Woodward, the shortstop. Kelly Corbett, the center fielder. And Julia Cadell, the designated player. As Hume set to deal. There's a strike. Oh and one. Line up and the pitch. Upstairs. One and one count. Hume delivers. There's strike two. And if you head over to our website, hcam.tv or our YouTube page, See a highlight reel of what Hume did to Norton. 18 strikeouts, 16 were for outs. Two reached on pass balls. As that's followed into the backstop to keep it one and two. You can check out that highlight reel on hcam.tv or our YouTube page. So far in this game, she has six strikeouts. Going for number seven here. A one and two count. Fouled into the backstop. A nice battle going on here. 
Some good contact by Woodward. Hume to the set. There's strike three. We'll bring up Kelly Corbett, who struck out her last time up in the first. Cleanup hitter, the left fielder, Kelly Corbett. Coach Baker telling his outfield to take a step back. Good hitter at the plate as that one's fouled away. Oh, and one. Hume to the set. Strike two. Oh, and two. Line up and the pitch. Fouled away. Count remains 0 oh and 2. Hume gets the sign. Strike three. Two away. That'll bring up Julia Cadell. She struck out her last time up in the second. Two outs in the inning for Bellingham. Hume delivers. Strike one. Hume set to deliver. Here's strike two. Hume's velocity is so effective. It's like hitters just swing to make contact. So that one's fouled away. Or hope to make contact. Count remains 0 oh and 2. Hume set to deal. Strike three, she strikes out the side for the second time today. And we will head to the top half of the fifth. Hillers leading three to nothing. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentists at Hopkinton, located at 77 Main Street, providing comprehensive dental care for clients of all ages from childhood through adult in a comfortable and relaxing setting. Find them online at hopdent.com. Hannah Ingstrom set to come to the plate here in the fifth. A three nothing lead for the Hillers. As Zoe Hilly back to work. On the ground, up the middle, gloved at short, throw to first is in time. One away. A six to three and that'll bring up Lindsey Whittles. Whittles 0 for 2 so far in this game. Wind up and the pitch. Breaking ball that did not quite break low enough. 1 and 0. Oh. Haley set to deliver. Fouled away, 1 and 1. Haley awaits the sign. On the ground, third base side foul. One and two. Haley to the set. Oh, she fights that one off. Count remains one and two.
She delivers, and that is just low from Haley, two and two. Fights that one off. Count remains two and two. Haley to the set, down low, full count. Good battle here between Zoe Haley and Lindsay Whittles. The delivery, there strike three. Zoe Haley with the strikeout, that is her third of the game, Lizzie Kelly will now come to the play. Lizzie Kelly reached on an error in the third just before a two run blast from Kayla Sullivan. And she'll lace this one into left field. That'll get down for a base hit. Rounding first and she'll stop in the base paths. And it will be a single for Lizzie Kelly. So that sets up another opportunity for Kayla Sullivan. Sullivan is two for two today, has a single and a two run blast in the third. It was her fifth home run of the season and it dri drove in Lizzie Kelly. So an opportunity here, as there's a strike. To the set, tips that one, 0 and 2. Line up and the pitch, there's a strike, and that will do it. Lizzie Kayla Sullivan strikes out. It's the second strikeout of the inning for Haley. The Hillers leave a runner on, but lead three to nothing as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth inning due up for Bellingham is the sixth, seventh, and eighth hitters, Casey Baker, Chelsea Farrell, and Caitlin Prophet to face Juliet Hume. So far, in this game has nine strikeouts. And I think when uh, Alyssa Cardinal left the Hillers to go elsewhere, no one thought Juliet Hume would be this dominant, but she has been unbelievable all season long, that pitch up high. It's her sixth game of the season. Reem Rabley had to start things off for the first five games. But she did a nice job, went four and one with a .45 ERA. That pitch down low, two and oh. Certainly not a bad pitcher to have coming up in Bremer Rabley, and she's a junior, so she'll likely be the starter next year. Lineup and the pitch is outside. Three and oh. Hume awaits the side. Delivers. Inside a four pitch walk to Casey Baker. Now Chelsea Farrell will come to the plate. Hume set to deliver. That is outside. See Hume trying to work the corners a little bit, not quite hitting the spot she wants. There's a strike, one and one. Hume 
Zoom to the set. Swinging strike, one and two. Hume delivers. There's strike three. One away. One away with one on. Caitlin Profit coming up. Tenth strikeout of the day for Hume. Hume delivers, and there's strike one. Check in at first, runner back safe. Good throw down the line by Kelly. Hume deals. Little slicer in a right field, and that is going to be a fair ball. And Coop Rider has to chase it into the woods, so that is only going to be a ground rule double. But Profit making some contact. Baker moves up to third. And there's two runners in scoring position with one out for the pitcher, Zoe Hilly. And that was just fair. Landed right on the line and rolled into the dead zone. Breaks up the no hitter. There's a strike, 0 and 1. That's only the tenth hit Hume has given up this season. There's a pitch inside, 1 and 1. Hume deals, swinging strike, one and two. Hume to the set. Down low, two and two. Wind up and the pitch, down low, three and two. Well, you, it could be a situation where Hume isn't giving her much because the worst case, you put a runner at first and load up the bases. And then try to get maybe a double play situation. And that is outside. And Haley draws the walk. Second walk of the inning for Hume, and that'll bring up Megan Cook. One away, base is loaded. Pinch runner coming in for Bellingham. A little uh, discussion between Lizzie Kelly and Hume. Hume gonna. Kelly going to try to help settle down Hume a little bit. And stepping in is Megan Cook. Pinch runner is Samantha Venuti. For Bellingham at first. Hume set to deliver. Swinging strike, 0 and 1. Wide up and the pitch down low, 1 and 1. Seems like Hume may be having a little bit of trouble getting that fastball up this inning. 
on the ground, third base side, gloved over at third base and foul. One and two. Megan Cook trying to get Bellingham back into this game. As they trail three nothing on the bottom of the fifth here in Bellingham. There is strike three, two away. Tenth strikeout. Is now Julianne Kilduff at the plate. Down low, gets by the catcher, and a throw to Hume, and the run scores. Baker scores on a pass ball. Profit moves up to third, Haley to second. And I would score that a pass ball, so it would be an unearned run. We'll have to see what the official scorekeeper says, as there's a strike. And so far this season, Hume has not given up an earned run. On the ground, Hume gloves it, throw to first, and there's the out. A one to three ground out, but not before the Bellingham Blackhawks played a run on a pass ball. And we will head to the top half of the six, three to one Hopkinton. Top half of the sixth inning, a three to one game between Hopkinton and Bellingham. As the Hiller is set to come back up to the plate. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Remax Executive Realty, My House Partners. My House Partners serves the entire Hopkinton, Mass real estate areas and surrounding areas as we are set to go here in the six. The windup and the pitch on the ground, foul. Oh and one. Kate Wellzell at the plate. Haley to the set. On the ground, past the dive of the third baseman, and Wellzell starts off the inning with a hit. A single for the shortstop, and that'll bring up Jenna Bogan. Jenna Bogan 0 for 2, reached on an error in the second. Coach Baker Sr. going to shift his outfielders around. Bogan at a 538 on the season. Also has a home run, four doubles. Has driven in 13, scored three times. On the ground, up the middle, and it is bobbled by the second baseman. She tries to flip to second, and it goes off the glove of the shortstop Woodward into the outfield. Well, Zell thought about taking off, but stayed put. Bogan reaches. That is certainly an error there by the second baseman. Two on, no outs, Hume at the plate. Haley is set to deal. Hume trying to lay down the bunt there, strike one. Push those runners up. Hume so far at the plate 0 for 2. The pitch, the bunt, and there's strike 2. Coach Soderberg giving Hume the sign. Interesting to see if she bunts here. Fouled away. To the set. 
That is down low. Might have been intentional to see if the runners try to take off. Hit in the air, little pop fly, and caught by the second baseman. Megan Cook making the catch, one away. Nikki Como will come to the plate. She's two for two today with a pair of singles. Two runners on for the Hillers, first and second, one out. Top of the sixth, hit foul, 0 and 1. Bailey to the set. On the ground, up the middle, picked up at second base, and they get one at first. Both runners push up, Wells L to third, Bogan to second. Four to three for Como, Coop Ryder will come to the plate. Coop Ryder one for two, an RBI single in the second, the score, Kate Wells L. We're gonna have a pinch runner here for the Hillers. Pinch running is Isabel Holden or Jenna Bogan at second. So Holden at second, pinch running for Bogan and Wellzell at third. Two outs in the inning for Coop Rider. The umpire getting a new ball. Coop Ryder awaits the pitch. Down low, one and oh. Bailey to the set. Grabs the inside corner, one and one. Ryder was at a 278 mark coming into this game with a home run on the season. She scored seven and driven in two. And that is fouled away, one and two. Haley awaits the side. Swinging strike, and that'll do it. For the Hillers on the top of the six, we head to the bottom of the six, a three to one lead for Hopkinton. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> bottom of the sixth inning, Chloe Woodward, Kelly Corbett, and Julia Cadell do up for the Blackhawks. As Juliet Hume back out to the mound. And the lone Bellingham run came on what I thought was a pass ball. Coach Baker thought it was a wild pitch. And I think it, you gotta go with the wild pitch on that one. It was certainly a bit wild and did come close to the dirt as this is hit down the third base side foul. Oh and one. Woodward has struck it out twice so far today. Hume is set to deal. Oof, and that got a piece of Woodward. So she gets first for free, hit by pitch, and that'll bring up Kelly Corbett. Corbett the cleanup hitter. And Baker's going to move the outfield back.
Hume set to deliver. And this is hit in the air towards the fence, and that'll be caught by Renee Cooprider. Throw to first, runner returns. One away, nice catch by Cooprider. That'll bring up Julia Cadell. Cooprider, good hustle to get there. Hume deals. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Hume agrees with the sign and deals. Fought foul, 0 oh and 2. Hume to the set, just inside, one and two. Light up and the pitch, and that is fouled away off a telephone pole just behind the backstop. Count remains one and two, and actually that's a light pole. No light attached to it right now. They do have lights here available at this field. This is hit in the air, that's foul. That almost hit the light. Count remains one and two. Hume awaits the sign, shakes it off. Shakes off another sign, and now set to deal. Strike three, it bounced off the catcher. Throw down to first is almost too high. She does come down with it, then the throw to third. Almost got by. Nikki Como, and it did briefly, but she was able to gather it up quick. So Woodward advances to third. Pass ball there, and that'll bring up Casey Baker. An opportunity here for Bellingham. Baker walked her last time up, ended up coming around to score on a wild pitch. Fouled away. Hume is set to deliver. On the ground, third base side, bobbled at third, throw to first, got her. Nice job by Como. She did not let the bobble shake her up. She picked it up, nice throw to first. And the Hillers get out of the inning. And we will head to the bottom half, uh, the top half of the seventh. Top half of the seventh. Two up for Hopkinton. Hannah Ingstrom, Lindsay Whittles, Lizzie Kelly. A three to one game as we are in the final inning. Zoe Haley has pitched a great game today. She's out there for another inning of work. That one's fouled away, 0 oh and 1. And this has been a fantastic pitching matchup here this afternoon. Haley awaits the sign. She deals, there's strike two. Engstrom 0 for three so far today. Haley set to deal, and there is strike three. One away. Now Lindsey Whittles will come up. Another lefty in the Hillers lineup. Haley delivers, and this is hit in the air. A little bloop shot, and that'll drop in the center for a base hit. Dropped right in front of Julianne Kilduff. 
A single for Whittles, and now Lizzie Kelly will come up, and this gets interesting. You're getting to the core part of the Hiller's order now. Got Lizzie Kelly and Kayla Sullivan do up. Kelly one for three today, reached on an error and scored a run in the third. On the ground, up the middle, played at short, throw to second, they get the lead runner on the fielder's choice. So six to four, fielder's choice, and there's two away for Kayla Sullivan. Kayla Sullivan is two for three, a single and a two run blast in the third. Haley to the set, here's strike one. Sullivan did strike out her last time up in the fifth. Haley set to deal. On the ground and that is foul. Oh and two. Bounced off the dirt just in front. Haley set to deliver. Up high, one and two. Check in at first, and Kelly slides back safe. Haley deals. There's a ball, two and two. to the set, on the ground, up the middle, played at short, throw to second, and that will do it for the top half of the seventh. Another six to four force out, and we head to the bottom part of the seventh, a three to one lead for the Hillers. Bottom half of the seventh, Bellingham down to their final three outs as they trail Hopkinton three to one, do up is the seventh, eighth, and ninth hitters. Right fielder Chelsea Farrell, third baseman Caitlin Prophet, and pitcher Zoe Haley. To face Juliet Hume, who has been sensational this game. And here we go. 12 strikeouts for Hume. That first pitch just outside, 1 0. Oh. Farrell has been a strikeout victim of Hume's twice this game. Hume delivers. There's a strike, one and one. For those of you just joining us, Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the broadcast, Hopkinton Hillers softball in Bellingham as their strike two. A three to one game on the Bottom of the seventh, it's been a great game. Great all around game, great pitcher's duels. That pitch down low, two and two. Hume to the set. And this is hit in the air towards right field. Coop Ryder back and makes the catch. Coop Ryder has been busy in right field today. That'll bring up Caitlin Prophet with one out. Coop Ryder has a couple of great catches in this game as well. Hume delivers down low, one and oh. Hume to the set. There's a the ball inside, 2 0. Oh. Wind up and the pitch is low, 3 and 0. Oh. Hume 
Hume set to deal. Here's ball four. Tying run at the plate. Zoe Haley. Set to deal. Strike one. Hume to the set. Down low, gets by the catcher. Runner advances the second. A wild pitch. One and one. That's down low, two and one. Hume awaits the side. Hume delivers. Ball three. Three and one. Bellingham has not made this easy for Juliet Hume. And there's ball four, first and second now loaded. Second straight walk from Hume, one out in the inning. Megan Cook will come up. Coach Baker is going to come out to talk to Hume. And he's going to pull the infield in as well. Big opportunity here for Bellingham. There's also a pinch runner at first base for Bellingham, it's Sam Venuti. Caitlin Prophet at second, Venuti at first. And Hume has her work cut out for her. Megan Cook at the plate. Cook has walked twice and struck out once. Hume awaits the side. Swinging strike, 0 and 1. Hume to the set. That is ball one, and the ball got by the glove of Kelly, and both runners advance. That is a pass ball. Should have had that one. Runners on second and third. Fouled away. And now uh, the Bellingham coaches wanted to stop because the base came up. Coach Baker wasn't happy that the umpire did not hear him trying to stop the game. And right now they're fixing third base. It wasn't fully installed, so that's what they're doing. They're digging out the third base bag. So they put third base bag back in and we are set to resume. One and two on Cook. This is a big pitch right here. Ball two just low. Two and two.
sliced foul. Two and two on Cook. And that is sliced foul. Count remains two and two. Good battle here. Two runners on, one out. Runners on second and third for Bellingham. A three to one Hopkinton lead. Hume deals. On the ground, up the middle, played at second, throw to first, and they get one. A run does score. Three to two. Profit comes around, Haley advances the third, a sacrifice ground out for Cook. Three to two, Julianne Kilduff coming to the plate. She's 0 for three so far. Hume delivers, swinging strike, 0-1. What a game this has been. Dennis Baker Sr., father of Dennis Baker Jr. coaching the Bellingham Blackhawks. Dennis Baker Jr., of course, the coach of the Hopkinton Hillers as that pitch was down low. And these two teams always play great games against each other. Hit in the air to shallow short. Well, Zell makes the catch. And the Hopkinton Hillers have won. They beat the Bellingham Blackhawks three to two. And quite a battle here in Bellingham. Another terrific performance by Juliet Hume, but it was a great pitching matchup as Zoe Haley had a terrific game as well. But the Hopkinton Hillers improved to 11 and one as they get the three to two victory over the Bellingham Blackhawks. And you can't really expect much less in a game whenever these two teams meet. It's always quite an unbelievable matchup. And the Bellingham Blackhawks, they scored two runs on just one hit. They committed three errors as well. And Hume did officially give up her first earned run in this game, despite what the first run was, but a terrific matchup between the Hillers and Bellingham. We'll come back with some final words in just a second. A great game here this afternoon at Bellingham between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Bellingham Blackhawks. Juliet Hume had quite a day, 12 strikeouts for Hume, but this battle went to the very end, a three to two final with Bellingham. They had a couple runners in scoring position in the seventh as they uh, really put the pressure on Hume, but she did a great job overcoming it to get the victory, her sixth win of the season. Let's talk about how this game started. Well, the first inning, Hume struck out two. But then in the second, the Hillers played it a run, an RBI single from Renee Cooprider. Drove in Kate Wellzell to make it a one to nothing game. Then the Hillers made it three to nothing in the third. A two run home run by Kayla Sullivan to drive in a Lizzie Kelly. And then no more runs would be scored until the fifth inning when the Blackhawks plated their first run. Casey Baker scored off of a wild pitch. And at that point, it would make it a three to one game and then in the bottom half of the seventh a close call for the Hillers let's talk about how the inning went down Chelsea Farrell flew out to start things off Caitlin Profit would then walk and Zoe Haley then walked then both runners advanced twice on two different uh, pass ball opportunities actually the first one was a wild pitch advancing Profit to second then a pass ball allowed Profit to go to third Haley to go to second and then Megan Cook with a sacrifice ground out to drive and profit made it three to two 
And then Julianne Kilduff battled in the very last Bellingham at bat, but ended up lining out to Kate Welzell at shortstop. Welzell made a nice play to put the game away and help the Hopkinton Hillers remain on top of the TVL and grab the 3-2 victory and advance to 11-1 overall. 10-0 in the TVL. The Hopkinton Hillers currently on top in the Tri-Valley League. Some of the stat lines, Zoe Haley pitched seven innings, giving up eight hits to the Hillers. Three runs, two of them earned, no walks, and six strikeouts. For Juliet Hume, seven innings pitched, one hit, two runs, both of them earned, six walks, and 12 strikeouts for Hume. Your hero at the plate is Kayla Sullivan. She went two for four with a single and the two-run home run, and that helped set the Hopkinton Hillers up for success as they walk away with a big TVL victory over the Bellingham Blackhawks, a 3-2 victory on the road for the Hockington Hillers. That's going to wrap up coverage here from Bellingham. For Bob Hamilton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us for this presentation of Hockington Hillers softball on HCAM.